What's going on, guys? So welcome to Tech Mode, and uh, we are, what we are going to learn today is that we will run learn how we can uh, run certain predicted test cases with the and we are going to use a page object model in that and we will be using a girl automation automatic build system in it and we will be running uh, learning more about the predicted test cases as well as girl so stay tuned with us okay so let's start with that so what we are going to do is here today in this tutorial is that we will be making certain test cases in predictor and with the and we will be using the page object model today and what we are going to do is that we'll be basically making uh, using making a use of curl uh, it's an automation framework which will be which will forgive you and which automatically builds automatically builds your source code or a predictor it automatically going to run your predictor test, case, test cases whenever there is a particular uh, change in it so it's a very powerful tool actually and we can use it in your in our Code. So let's move on to that one. So this is the source code, and uh, I know it's already written. Most most of the code I have already written. So I will be basically trying to give you an insights of how we can just start it. So first of all, what we need is that uh, if you have no, if you don't have any background of Jasmine right now, and you don't know what exactly Protector is, so follow up my first tutorial, and where we have where I have already discussed about how we can. Uh, how we can run our first test in predictor and how we can how we, we can use uh, how we can use basically run a particular hello world program so what we are going to going in this one is that we have uh, we will be writing a simple login uh, simple login page and we will be integrating it with our girl framework so first of all what you need is that so if you have a background of jasmine so you will understand it more and so what what we are going is that uh, so let's start with a describe block what we are going to do is that we will be writing a describe block and we will be we will basically logging in the app and calling a function so all the code will be all the code related to this will be in this block right now and in a simpler manner if i say that how jasmine works is that so there will be a put two methods before each and after each So I will be basically writing it in it, and it will be to call a particular function. So this is this is how it works. And so what we are going with that we will so before each and after each, what exactly it will run will do is that there's a particular it blocks. These are the blocks which will run sequentially, so one by one. And so first of all, this block will run, and after that, this block will run, and this after that, this block will run. So uh, whatever the code that we have. And it's going to run in a sequential manner, and it will solve the problem of synchronous also. In the uh, uh, and that can be very helpful uh, if uh, if we are dealing with the Angular application especially. So right now I will remove this part. And so what we are doing here is that first of all uh, we will creating a describe block, and we will call our two methods. So I will uh, I'll give you a heads up like how exactly you can what exactly I am doing here. Just uh, make sure that it's it's a very simple statement where we are just loading two modules of custom login as well as homepage.js. So, so so let's go to the before each. So in the before each, what we are doing is that we are just calling a simple I am a before each, and we are just console log it, console logging out it. So let's move on to the next thing. So what? So first it block. It's our first test case where what we are doing is that we are going to load a page for the validation of the test. So now it's uh, saying that we are doing home page dot load url so what exactly is the home page home page is we have home page dot js and so let's move on to home page so let's go one by one what is exactly is the home page so home page is uh, home page dot js is basically in a javascript file what we have is that we have a variable uh, home page and it's a function in this function what we are going is that we will calling a load url function what which what exactly is that it will call a browser dot get a particular url and so it is the only function in this file so and what we are doing is that we are exporting as a module so if you have a certain background of node and so what exactly we are doing is that is it's basically in a simple class uh, kind of a class of thing and you can call this method using home 
this object dot this url in this so then the same thing that we are using using doing here so home page dot load url and what we are doing is that so first of all we have to load the url and so we'll go to this particular url and what we are trying to expect is that we will get the title from the browser and this should match to this vector website banking and all so i will be showing you how to exactly we can map so let's let's see what exactly what we are doing here is that and move out this one and yeah so this is our application and we have a customer and bank manager so we'll be clicking on this link so let's move on to this second it so let's open the second it okay so in the second uh, select the drop down and the click on the login button so what we are doing is that first of all we'll be clicking on this button so where it is the clicking button is function is written so it is written in the customer login so what I, so this is so a separate module so we have divided page by page the first page was to load a url and that was home page and now we have a customer page right now in front of us and what we are going to do is that we will be clicking on this button so let's move on to this one so this is a customer login it's very simple actually this looks very washed but it's very very simple so it has a certain function so let's first of all make them and expand okay the first function is to clicking the button so it's very simple what we are going to do is that we'll call a login button so login button is basically a it's an uh, what we will do is that we will get the button text by customer login so it's a button text with customer login and we are going to call a click and we'll just sleep for one second <coughs> and another function related to is that select the login so after clicking this we will have to select this one so what we'll doing is that we will just do a element dot all element dot dot all for this one and we'll be using the ng repeat and the repeater function for custom in and we'll be creating the second item so you can just make it third fourth whatever you want okay so i'll stick with the tool and will i'll sleep and we'll just uh, do a click on it after that i have to click this one yeah okay so this is the function this will do and what we are doing is that this is the check correct login and account type okay so this will this will use i'll use it again that time okay so what we'll be are doing is that we're clicking and select the login and after that last one what we are doing is that correct check the correct login and account type so if the check if the check correction login we are just getting the x path and we are just getting the text and we are printing it okay that we are we have clicked this we will get this one and just printing it out three times i don't know why okay let's check it one time and then account type what we can do is that we will be we are not doing much much in this one we are just clicking the account type button but this one basically drop down we are not doing anything anything but this is very simple function you can remove it if you want and so this is our test case so and this is our page object model if you are trying to understand it so we have a particular page for every every web page where we have, we have. so we have a home page and we have a customer login and customer login will have a particular functions and the selector path will be outside of it and they will be calling directly from this click button selecting button and all logic so this is our thing uh, this is for this is our basic text the test in the protector and what the, so may, so let's move on to the main thing what we have we have to done do uh, what we have to do is that we have to understand the gulf so what exactly is the gulf so gulf is a basically a uh, build system which automates auto, auto certain tasks like notification copying of certain JavaScript files as well as it's a capable of running the watching the file capable of running the uh, project uh, your project as well as a particular function whenever there is a particular change in your files so let's understand it so first of all what you have to do is that you have to install, install certain node modules so let me give you the list of the node module that you have to install in it I will be providing you this uh, full project in uh, as a github link you can just clone it and run npm install and that will install all the dependency apart from this one last one what you have to that you have to do is npm install and jasmine allow reporter uh, like this so just you have to do is that 
npm install right and it will install all the dependency related to it and if there's a particular missing application just install it npm install and after that stuff okay so now we have all the kind of dependency installed and we have a project test project test ready what we have to do is that we have to install curl so uh, as packages dot uh, json is already mentioning about the curl so curl will after when you do uh, whenever you do the npm install in the current project if you don't have any and if you don't have npm install in your machine you can just go to npm you put just npm yes and it will give you a basic installer and you can just install it so it will it's very 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 uh, easy in windows as well as mac okay so let's let's see the what exactly we have in the gulp file so what you have to do is that we have to you have to install certain things like you have to uh, you have you require a girl girl protector girl notifier girl protector uh web driver dot standard oh uh, this will more uh, this is these are not required till now till now and this whole thing is just uh, optional for you if you want so what we are doing is that we will creating a girl object where from this one and we'll be creating a task so we have named the task dom d-o-n-e so what exactly it will do is that it will, it will just go to the source this one and change found and executing script so whenever there is a particular change in this file especially so what whatever it do is that it will pi pipe character will notify that notify module and what it's going to do is that it will be running this project with the config.js as the, and the url for the selenium uh, selenium hub is this one local address and it's going to run this function so in this function basically what we are doing is that whenever this function is called it will run a config file with this selenium hub object okay so what we are doing here is that we will created a default task and we are whenever we are but just we are uh, calling a gulp dot watch function where we are just watching all the js in the web web js dot you can do this like also there's a no web page uh, no web page uh, folder right now so i will be updating the code so and we are watching the in the main main test.js we are watching in config.js so if you have a clue about the config.js basically the protector config file so i'll look at it let's look into it it's very small file where we have export.config and we'll be mentioning the selenium address as well as the specs so our main file is main test.js and what we are doing here is that we will just providing that browser name is firefox and on prepare is basically before executing the scripts what we are doing is that we are just giving some reporter object so this will be helpful in our future projects where we will, we will be generating certain kind of report so i'll show you what kind of report that we are going we are we will be going to generate so this is a generate this is a hello report and it will give you this kind of ui it's very 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 uh it's very good a uh, report which will provide you all the kind of graphs and all the overall test report basic kind of thing and let me show you how it look like uh yeah so it's, it will have this kind of menu and we can just walk, go through them like this one the top defects we have found in this so all the things will be generated using this hello report and that we have already included in our project so in the next tutorial coming tutorial we will be doing that thing also so so we have all the all the things ready and what we have, what we can do is that we can just type girl so it will call this default if you go to the default default function and where we, it is just sitting around and so just watching these files if there is any change on it so what we will do is that we'll just do a particular change so whenever we do a particular change like we have just made a certain change firefox and so what it will, it will be doing is that it's just watching it starting the default and finishing the default just watching continuously watching it so let's move update something and what we will do what we'll do okay let's do a control of extra and it will save it so whenever we save it so it will say okay curl will notify that changes are found and it's going to execute those scripts again so right now if you, if you can see it's open the firefox right now and it will run my project again so our project was very very simple it will just go to a particular url and it will just select a drop down and click on this button and after that it will finish this 
Okay. So what we are doing is that okay, we are going to a particular URL. So we have run two times through that file, and we'll click once one, and we'll select a drop down, and click the login button, and that's all. And it's already I printed that okay, I have selected the wrong directory from it. So that was very very simple project, and we have also integrated our Gulp in it. Sorry for that. This one, and so hope. Hope you guys like this video and that was all from my side and hope you guys have liked this video and please if you like this please consider subscribing and and hope I'll uh, will we will do uh, more reporting stuff and more automation stuff in the next tutorial and if you have like uh, just subscribe to my channel and please follow me on Twitter Facebook. Thank you guys for it, for all your support and let's see you in the next one.